Hello chess family, it's me National Master Jesse James and today we're going to be going over a very fun idea by using the f-pawn as an attacking piece. That's right, a whole piece over here. The idea of moving the f-pawn has two major ideas. One is whenever you push your f-pawn forward, it's going to open up your rook which will allow you to do rook lifts and well, go for a kingside attack. And the other strong idea is, as you will see in this game, is you can set up for a checkmate which is the lollipop checkmate as I like to call it, or the lollies checkmate pattern which is basically pushing this one pawn forward. You're going to be able to disrupt or mess up your opponent's kingside pawns. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get to it. And this one we're going to start with in the four knights opening. We start up with e4, e5, the king's pawn opening. Knight f3 attacks the pawn. And here we go, knight c6 defends the pawn. Here white plays knight to c3. Not one of my favorite moves, but it is a move to play. And here black plays knight f6. So here we have the typical four knights opening. And here, well, White weak plays bishop to b5 here. A very nice move here. And this move already makes a little threat. The threat has to play bishop takes knight, and then knight takes on e5. Okay. Black plays bishop b4. Notice that they're not playing the bishop over to c5, as this could be a mistake in a lot of these lines. Because, well, we could do this cool idea of knight takes, knight takes, and pawn to d4. And already here, white would be much better. The reason is, is, well, most people here are going to typically going uh, to take right away after queen takes white is the only one with the pawn in the center and this goes vice versa black can do the exact same thing if white makes the mistake and plays bishop c4 you get to play this knight takes on e4 knight takes and d5 and then now it is black who has the better position ah, back to the game here after this move bishop b5 bishop b4 white goes ahead and castles a very good move here black goes ahead and castles and now we see the very nice idea of pawn d3. Now we don't have to worry about any kind of knight takes e4 ideas. Okay, let's go ahead and continue the game. Pawn to d6 gets played. And here there's already a little annoying threat of the bishops coming over here to pin. And this is a, an annoying move because you can add the knights over here to add more pressure to the pin piece. So, bishop g5 got played. As you can see here, the pin was initiated. And here black plays knight to e7. A very interesting idea here. Here, you're more than welcome to take, Black says, because I want to go ahead and open up the g-file. In the game, Black, uh, White went ahead and played this very interesting move of knight to h4. So what's this whole idea of bishop takes? Here, like I said, if you do play bishop takes, this is actually something Black wants, is he wants to play g takes on f6. He wants to play king over to h8, rook over to g8, and now you see that this rook has a very nice open file here to attack. Here, White did not want that to happen, so they went ahead and just played knight to h4 and here white is getting ready to do that exact idea that we were talking about earlier we're going to be trying to move the f pawn again two main major ideas with this you're going to open up your rook and you're going to go ahead and try to mess up the pawn structure over here as we will see in this game here black played c6 attacking our bishop let's not lose a piece here bishop c4 was played knight to g6 got played and here let's go ahead and do it knight takes on g6 a move that they definitely were not anticipating okay well Pawn takes over here on g6, and here is the exact time where we should be looking to bring in more pieces. And well, in this game, White has made the decision we're going for kingside attack. So, what do we do to try and add more um, flame to this fire? We're going to go to play pawn to f4 here, exclam. Again, the idea is we want to go ahead and add the rook into the game, and we also want to push forward here to try and mess up the pawns over here. Notice earlier, White um, Black could not have taken back due to this pin. All right, here comes. Uh, black now. Black played queen b6 check. Simple chess here. Let's go ahead and play king to h1. Always the best move here, just running over to the corner. And here, black plays knight g4. And here, black is already threatening a very nice threat of the Philidor's legacy. Or here, knight to f2 check, forking the king and the queen. And we must take here because if we don't, well, we're going to end up getting checkmated. So, here, white stops it. Simple chess, queen to e1. Not only does this move cover the f2 square, which was knight f2 check threat, but the big idea is to bring the queen over to the king side. Here, white has checkmating ideas in mind. All right, it was black's turn. Black went ahead and played. Knight to e3 here, and he's saying, well, I like this position very much. I'm going to ruin white's game here. And why Why wouldn't this look like a bad, bad move? Here, black has a lot of good threats here. For one, you are attacking this rook over here on f1. What's some other threats? Knight takes on c4. Remember, whenever you're being attacked, it's a good idea to make trades. So black's more than happy to trade off over here. And the last threat is knight takes on c2 here. And here, after knight takes on c2, well, we're going to be forking the queen and the rook. Mm. So what do you do here? Believe it or not, 
Here comes white. The power of the F pawn is in full motion. Here we go. We get to play pawn to F5 here. X clam. Wait a second. You mentioned all these different moves here that you can play for black. Why would you do this? The whole idea is to go for checkmate here. And here white has lots of pieces attacking or aimed over toward the king side. You can see the bishop, this bishop over here, and the F pawn, queen, and rook. One, two, three, four, five pieces over here that are major um players in this attacking game and how many pieces are defending the black king you might say one two and well when you have more attackers than defenders you should attack here we go black said thank you and he went ahead and played knight takes on c4 here saying you know what i although i don't believe your attack is that strong i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this bishop because well knight takes rook here was just not what i was foreseeing and here let's go ahead and do it what do we play Pawn to f6 here. White is going for that checkmating idea. This also leads into a checkmate pattern I like to call the lollipop checkmate. It's actually pronounced, I think, lolly, but I like to call it lollipop because it's very easy to remember. But here the whole idea is once you get the pawn to f6 or h6, the idea is to get the queen over to g7. And here black has to be very careful here. For instance, playing pawn takes will finish the game very fast. The bishop takes on f6, and there's really no good way to stop queen h4 and queen to h8 for mate the only way that the computer says you can stop it is queen to d8 tra uh, trading your queen for the bishop let's uh let's go ahead and say they're not going to do that right so here it is up to um black to try to find a defense and black does try a good idea he goes ahead and plays bishop g4 what's the idea remember every time you your opponent makes a move think what is my opponent's idea and here the idea is very simple the queen is heading over to h4 and then go to h8 or 2g7 over here and well the bishop wants to go ahead and block okay well queen h4 got played right away and the bishop goes to h5 wait a second did we stop the plan we didn't stop the plan because we couldn't but we knew a way that we can try to get the bishop out the way what's the idea here to get the bishop out the way simple chess make your threats here we play pawn to g4 and again we're making threats here well black really doesn't have any good moves he went ahead and played knight to e3 saying, well, maybe I can go ahead and threaten your rook again. Are you afraid this time? You were as afraid this time as you were last time, right? Here, let's do it. Pawn takes on h5, trying to open up this h file. Okay, knight takes. And here we go for the win. White to move. What do you play here? There's actually quite a few winning moves here. Feel free to push pause if you want to to try to see if you can find at least one of them. If not, here, uh, if not enjoy the show. Here we go. You get to play h6 here a beautiful idea and here black really just has nothing good going on in the game he went ahead and played pawn takes but again there was just nothing good here here we have some very cool checkmating ideas first off notice pawn cannot take if you do queen takes on h6 and now you're going to get that lollipop checkmate that i mentioned earlier right um is there anything else being threatened here well we have the simple threat of pawn takes on g7 and then queen h8 mate um can we take over here you can i don't recommend it remember always looking for, always look for the force moves here do not play bishop takes f6 here play h7 check and wherever the king moves to it doesn't really matter the bishop will come for f6 for checkmate and so here well black really just has no good options here and so black went ahead and played this pawn takes and well after queen takes on h6 there was just no good way to get out of this and well black just goes ahead and resigns well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Remember the power of the F-pawn idea. The whole idea is to go ahead and push the pawn forward to try and weaken your opponent's kingside pawns. One pawn can mess up three pawns. Remember that you can get the lollipop checkmating idea. And don't forget, it also helps get your rook active in this game. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this very instructive game. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>